All right, hello, and welcome back, everybody, to the stream. Make sure to do a quick test. Make sure everything's running nice and good. Yep, we're good to go, sounds like. Um, so we got some people in the chat already. Hey, you dirty, uh, I don't know if I can say that. I don't know if I can say that on live. I don't know if Twitch or YouTube, they might get... In a frenzy if I say that, but well, hello, welcome to the stream, Mr. Goods. Um, today, we are back to play Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Kind of got off early, so... Ho is a tool, yeah, that's true. Minecraft ho. <laughs> um, but yeah. This will be the start of the playthrough of Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake for the PS5. It is a pretty retro, but really good game. Like, I'm pretty amazed at what they pulled off even in this game. It's nuts. I think originally it came out on the MSX, which is a computer system, I think? I don't know. Got another chat here. Did you beat the other one? Uh, the Metal Gear Solid 3 Euro Extreme playthrough, I did finish that. I did beat that. It's up on my YouTube. Um, because the VODs on Twitch don't last very long. But, I did complete it. I do plan on going back through and doing 100% Foxhound rank, non-lethal only. I know a lot of people kept mentioning that. Um, that it's quote-unquote easy. I think that's just... People going, people trying to downplay how fucking nuts that is. But uh, yeah, one of the cool things I really like about this game is the uh, the music and the sound effects. So we can go with original or easy. I'm gonna go with original. Might regret doing that later, but <clears throat> nice. You're going nuts. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I love Metal Gear Solid 3, I love all the mechanics. I can't wait till the remake comes out, but until then, I've uh, got these crazy asinine challenges I'm doing. So basically, if I was going to play this canonically, which I'm not, but if I was going to play this canonically, this game occurs right after MGS5. If you're going timeline-wise, this would be in between this, this is the game before Metal Gear Solid 1. So, um, obviously you're playing a solid, solid snake in here. Which, I know it gets kind of confusing, but... There's Naked Snake, which is Big Boss, which is also Venom Snake, which is... Basically, it's easier to do it, like, uh... Think of it like... If you're playing as the dude with the eye patch, there's, uh, your, your Big Boss. Um, if you're not playing as the one with the eye patch, you're either playing the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 3, or you're playing a Solid Snake. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> this is the uh, this is the formula that they created back in the 90s that they somehow made work up until this, this last uh, last game that came out. Which is pretty interesting. It's also pretty interesting to see how much of this actually got put into the newer games. I, I say newer, but it's not really newer. Um, but like, Metal Gear Solid 1 plays a lot like this game, like story-wise and lore-wise. Even some of the, like, the fourth wall breaks, a lot of it has to do this. Like, I do remember, for those of you who ever played Metal Gear Solid 1, you have to actually look on the back of your video game package to get a frequency to call somebody, which... I think was meant as a way to prevent piracy, but uh, that is also in this game. Oh, update ready to install. Is this one older? Yes, this came out around the 90s. This is back in the 90s era. It is also a bit more difficult, I will say, and a lot less forgiving. But I, I know it's possible to beat it. I've beat this game before twice, but it was years ago. <clears throat> Oh, I don't need to know how to crawl. <laughs> but I really love the music in this game. The music in this game is just peak. Peak chiptune. I love it. 
I think it's ship tune, I'm not sure. As of right now, I have to keep punching people because I don't have a gun. Oh, I fucked myself there. Joe, uh, we're just gonna run. Look at that. Look at my life bar, already almost dead. Half dead already. This game is not... I went the wrong way. It starts off kind of slow and like, eh. And that's kind of what turned me off of this game for such a long time, was the starting section. But it gets so much better past this point. But if you're the type that doesn't really like retro, like, 8 slash 16-bit games, I could probably see why you wouldn't like something like this. Damn, dude, where is the gun? As you can see, it's a little bit easier to evade people. We're gonna get a call there, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. There's the gun. This is a... Uh, interesting. You, uh, you shoot in four directions, but the enemy can shoot in any direction. It, like, I don't really want to keep showing it, but if they shoot, sometimes they can shoot a diagonal bullet. But anyways, just like Metal Gear Solid 1, you're gonna want to go through the vents. I think you can also get in through if you find a cardboard box, but I might be mixing that up with Metal Gear 1. Personally, I think Metal Gear 1 is nowhere near as fun as this one. <clears throat> but that's just me. We got some ammo over here. Um, I think if we go over here, we'll just have to cut. It's kind of a dead end, but I do want to see if there's an item. I can't remember. Can't recall if there was one or not. That is, that is one of my favorite soundtracks in this game, is that one right there. I love it so much. Uh, we've got another chat. Is that uh, on YouTube? Can't carry any more bullets. Is that Twitch? Interesting game, Metal Gear series, eh? Yes, uh, it is definitely... Um, you know, I could see it not being everybody's like cup of tea, but it's honestly like the lore, the mechanics, everything that they were doing... I don't know, Metal Gear has always been one of those games that's very good at pushing boundaries. Or at least, like, making you think a little bit. And while this game doesn't have the same type of plot twist that Metal Gear 2 had... Um... <clears throat> Who keeps calling me? Holly, I'm Holly White. Yeah, that's the thing, too. You kinda... I've been kinda skipping them, but you do wanna kinda answer these calls, because otherwise... You will not get them in the drop-down. And then you have to go in back and trigger them again. Sometimes you're kind of screwed and you'll have to look up the frequency. How do I get out of this? What button is the button to get the hell out of here? Um, interesting. I think I, I'm forced to call somebody if I click down. That's okay. Yeah, it, I don't know if this is, uh... I wouldn't label this game as easier. But it's pretty cool, like, you get to see all the mechanics of what eventually becomes all the Metal Gear games that we know and love. Like, the Soliton Radar, classic, you know, classic. I mean, it was taken away in Metal Gear 3 and 5. Um, and maybe 4 too? I can't remember if it was in 4 or not, but that... That's a classic thing right there. You've got these, like, weapon boxes, that was, uh... There's a guard down. There's a guard in the bottom loading screen. Hopefully he doesn't come up here. I know there's a camera somewhere here, too. Um, there it is. Well. Oh, there's a guard right there. Well, basically, what I am trying to do, what I should be doing, which I'm not, is getting on the elevator. Another thing too, instead of knocking out walls, in this game you punch walls. That's kind of just comes with the territory. I mean, it is kind of an older game that didn't really have all the gameplay mechanics to do that just yet, but you punch walls. Uh, also, there's these things, and of course as soon as I do that a guard comes out. Um, fuck that up again. Eh. 
Come on, punch the elevator button. Damn, I am locked in here with a shit ton of them. Damn, I'm dead already, man. What a great start. Let's see where we start off at. Where it puts us. Okay, right here. That's fine. I was kind of digging around anyways. Take Holly's call again. It is kind of cool to play this game too, to kind of understand the backstory between Gray Fox and Metal Gear Solid 1. Most people, myself included, until I played this game, I did like, it was like, you know, snakes referencing like, Gray Fox this and Gray Fox that, and it's like, dude, am I supposed to know who this guy is? Like, who the fuck is Gray Fox? Then you play this game, you kind of realize who that is. Come on, man. Why is there so many of you right there? There we go. And you just run to the next loading screen and hope that we can make it. Yep, okay, good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Ew. <clears throat> I think we want to go up first. If I'm correct. I might be wrong, though. So this, this room, this entire room sucks. It's all graded, so every footstep you make will be heard. And it's kind of hard too, because if I shoot my gun, they'll hear the gun. I don't have a suppressor on my gun yet, so they will hear it. My best shot is to crawl over here and try to punch you. And that, of course that's not going to work. Why would it? Fuck this game. There we go, card one. Get out of here. I think that's all we really need right now. You get into the second. Elevator to the left. <clears throat> I think that'll bring us up to the third floor, which is... Nope, nope, I was wrong. It'll bring us down the basement one? I don't think that's the right place that we need to be, though. Mm, no, I think it is. Fuck it, I'll use the ration. <clears throat> Infrared goggles, that's pretty nice to have right off the bat. Um, because the area that I'm trying to get to uses infrared. And the only way for you to see that, if you don't have the infrared goggles, you gotta use the cigarettes. And uh, cigarettes in this game do a hell of a lot more damage to your health than any other Metal Gear game I've played. And as you can see, my health is not very big. Mm, I don't think we need to be here. But we can look around. I think there's a ration or something. It's kind of like the sewer area. Oh yes, this is awesome. Okay, so... If you're fast enough, this is a good way to grind out. This is RNG based kind of right here. Um, sometimes you'll get something good out of there. Like you could get a lot of rations. Obviously it is a little risky though. Because like right there, I got a ration. But you want to get back to this door before that beam pushes you. Because if it does, obviously I think you can kind of tell what's going to happen. <laughs> Um, just make your way back as fast as you can, but you can just keep doing this over and over again, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Obviously, uh, don't sit in there for too long. Otherwise, you will, uh, you will become grated into cheese. More like, it's more like a garbage disposal, but whatever. Can't carry any more rations. What? Dude, I have one fucking ration. Come on, man. Whatever. Good enough. We got a Twitch chat. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let him cook the ration and eat it. Alright. <clears throat> My main goal is to get to the first boss as fast as I can. Which I thought you had to go... 
down. I thought you had to use the left elevator. I thought you had to go up one and then go to the left and then use the second elevator, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll go back up to the first floor. Or this, I guess technically it'll bring us to the second floor. Because the first one's broken on the left side. Technically that would be my right, but... We'll go back in here and then we'll go down. Because this is not where we want to be, I don't think. First floor, that's where we were at. What the hell? Where am I supposed to go? It has something to do with these elevators, I know that. That's... Oh shit, he heard me. Oh, okay, good. He's, he's stupid. He won't come down here. Hmm. What am I missing here? It's one of these rooms. It might be the great, the room with the grates in it. I really hope not. I hate that fucking room. They hear every fucking footstep that you make. <clears throat> awesome! That's so awesome sauce. I could just sit here and like hide underneath that, but... I'm not wasting my time doing all that. I can't even open that. Okay, cool. What do we got here? Ammunition? Wait, I picked up one bullet. Ain't no way he didn't see me. That's crazy, bro. Give me that ration. As you can see, the evasion and caution are a lot more... It's a lot quicker on this game. Well, anyways, we got some more items to keep us alive for a little bit longer. That's nice, but it's still not where we need to go. <clears throat> Did I, uh, check everything out up here? Okay, here we go. This... Pretty sure this is the room. Yeah, definitely, this is it. Right. You don't want to turn on your infrared goggles, because there's a lot of infrared bullshit. There is a gas mask, there's a boss fight in the right side, I think. Yeah. But before we do that, you're gonna want to grab the gas mask. Which I believe is up here. If you go down that dust chute, um, just don't. I'll just, I'll just put it like that. Just don't go down the dust chute. You'll just go all the way back down to the sewer. Not really worth it. I'm pretty sure you'll pop out at the garbage disposal area. Does this laser ever turn off? Oh, there we go. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you get caught here. It does gas you out, but... You can just rush to get the gas mask, just like this. Boom. I did it. Okay, got the gas mask on. There you go. Easy as that. I don't think I can open this door at all. Nope, cannot. Alright. <clears throat> We're ready for the first boss. I don't know how I didn't get detected there. i pretty sure that laser caught me, but whatever. We're good, we're Gucci. This thing sucks. Stay away from it. But, let's go take a peek on what's on the right side. Ah, yes, a camera. What was I thinking? Coming over here. Can I even open this? No, I can't. Alright, sweet. Let's uh, try to get the fuck out of here. You motherfucker. took a hit, and I did not want to take a hit. This is why you don't want to get detected by the people here. And can I do it fast enough? Oh damn it. That's okay, we got six seconds left. Five, four, three. I can just go in here. Fuck you. <clears throat> There's a guy right here. Take him out silently for now. 
Now, which door was it? It was this one, right? Immediately switch to gas mask. That's the one downside of this game is you're going to take damage when you enter a room. And you're not sure. And then also when you exit a room too, because you have to switch over to a card, right? Be that quick. Switch back. Alright, so we found Dr. Mag. Got sent to the second dimension by Goods on Twitch. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what Metal Gear's all about. All sorts of crazy dimension ninjas and shit. <clears throat> Speaking of ninjas... Got one right here, and I fucking hate this boss. The Black Ninja. Um, throws little stars, yep, just like that, and they're fucking kind of a pain in the ass to avoid. Like, look at that shit, man. How is that fair? Just fucking stay still. For one second, bro, please. It's almost like you have to take hits. Look at that, I missed my shot. Missed my shot again. This game... Maybe I'm supposed to hit him, actually. I think that's what it is. Maybe not. I'm gonna fucking die here. This is why I collected all these rations, honestly. It's because of this boss. If I remove that shit... Come on, man. This is not fair. I hate this boss. Most annoying boss in this fucking game, and he's the first one they throw at you. I go through all my rations. Just fucking laser him, I guess. I'll eat his fucking attacks. Who's going down first, huh? You are, bitch. So, A or B? Uh, I'm not sure what do you mean. So, A or B? What is that, what is that supposed to mean? I'm not sure what you're asking there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm sure there's a better tactic, but I hate this boss, and I always get attacked by him. I take so much hits. I always come in here with a lot of rations and just unload on him. Snake, who are you? How do you know my name? Schneider, <clears throat> you're in the resistance of Outer Heaven. Good old Outer Heaven, so that takes place in the first game, Metal Gear 1. So, I think you kind of, I guess I'll, I'll just get through this first before I explain it. Kind of alluding to the fact that Big Boss is uh, hiring all these mercenaries, which kind of is in the realm of what was happening during Metal Gear Solid 5, but this takes place a little bit after that. <clears throat> also, huge fucking spoiler that I'm about to say, so if you don't want to hear spoilers about Metal Gear, uh, just skip or pause or mute for like 20 seconds, but uh, Big spoiler here of the fact that you did kill Big Boss in the first game, Metal Gear 1. That was not Big Boss, which is weird that Metal Gear Solid 5 went all the way back to fix this plot hole. I'm going back in here, fuck that shit. Um, but anyways, the big plot hole, the big plot twist is you're actually killing Venom Snake. You're not killing Big Boss. And that is why you see Big Boss in Metal Gear Solid 4. He 
even though you killed him. Doesn't really make sense, but... It does after Metal Gear Solid 5, for whatever reason they really needed to fix this plot hole from, like, 1990. Mind Detector, that's very important to pick that up later. We will need that. But yeah. Um, that's all I'm gonna really say about that for now, until the end of the game. Hopefully, but, I mean, I try not to spoil these games for people who are playing through them for the first time. So, now we have to find out where Dr. Marv is. Dr. Marv, now that we have this card, we go back to the first floor. That's another thing, you really have to pay attention to the dialogue in this game, because they don't... They don't throw you many bones and many hints, and if you skip the dialogue, you're usually gonna fucking... You're gonna be lost. Which will probably happen to me in this playthrough, I'm sure. Anyways, is there a staircase down here? I thought there was. There isn't. Well, we need to get through that door right there. And I'm just gonna take a shit ton of hits here. That's great. I should have just went down to the, uh, the garbage dump and grabbed some more rations. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't really want to... Okay, so this guy right here, right? This was in the dialogue of the fucking ninja that we just fought, right? Green Beret? You need to follow this guy, and you need to follow him from loading zone to loading zone, and make sure he doesn't see you. And this, this will initiate, a, like, a chase sequence. Twitch, I love this game from the goods. Yeah, this game is fucking good, man. It's a very old game. But it is surprisingly very fleshed out. Especially at this time. I mean, this shit was like... This is around the era where like Super Mario Bros. like came out and shit. Like the first ones. Which not to say Mario Bros. is bad by any means, but it is very simplistic. And not too long after that came out, they, ma they were making games like this, which is nuts to me. This guy will do some fake-outs with you, so you have to, like, really pay attention. I just always kind of keep it slow. The thing is, though, you don't want to wait too long to enter the next loading zone that he's going into, otherwise the chase sequence will end up as a failure, because lore-wise, it's like you lost him in the forest or some shit, and then you'll just, you'll just come back to this forest in a regular sense. Like, it... I don't know. It, it's very reminiscent of, like, uh... Reminds me of Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Um, when you're in the Lost Woods. I know a couple games do that. <clears throat> I think eventually, I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure eventually there's even another guard that comes out. And if you get spotted by him, that kind of throws out the whole thing. Very careful here. Not to go too fast, or he will see you. And do not move too much right after that sequence right there, because as you can see, if I moved a little bit more to the right, I didn't let up on the D-pad, he would have seen me immediately. So keep that in mind. The game's trying to throw you off course, but I mean, you can keep redoing this as many times as you like. It's not like you have to figure it out yourself. Like, if he sees you, you can always go back and redo this chase sequence until you get it right.
There's just one spot I remember I got caught up on a lot. <clears throat> I don't know which one it was, though. Oh, I think it was right here. This shit. Don't even go for that. Don't even go for it. There you go. Now you can go. And just like that, we're good. Shoot him and be done with that shit. Alright. So this is the next thing. Which is insanity. Right. And this came with the original game. I don't think it came with this because I got it digitally. This motherfucker on this right side is doing Morse code. So, unless you're well versed in Morse code, you have to be like me and look this up. Because I don't have the code memorized, but... Um, essentially, yeah, you had to learn Morse code in order to uh, figure out the codec number that you need. So, why don't I look that up right now, because I don't know Morse code. This is the right one. <clears throat> oh shit, no, I didn't mean to call you. So it says online it is 51. That is a lie. Oh, there's a lot of different numbers here. Wow. Okay, um. <clears throat> Let's see. No, it says that's 140.51. Fuck. Is this not Dr. Marv? Maybe it isn't. I thought this was Marv, though. Let's try this one. Oh, it's 82. be a Metal Gear game without a Metal Gear. Unless it was Metal Gear Solid 3, where they have the Shago Hod instead of the Metal Gear, but that game gets a pass. Boss fight with big boss is fucking nuts. How they manage to, uh, how they want you to fight him. It's not really a spoiler like the one before was, but you fight him by using axe body spray and a lighter. Well, not axe, but you know, it's a propellant spray in a can. It's so cool to me how they made Metal Gear Solid 5 and they were just like, yeah, let's fix this random plot hole that was so long ago. Because, like, obviously, like, as a Metal Gear fan, I kind of thought about it. I was like, well, how is Big Boss alive at 4 if we killed him in 2? But, obviously, I'm trying to avoid saying it because I already did say it before. But, uh, yeah. We... It's, Metal Gear 5 kind of tells us why. Very weird that they went, they decided to fix that after such a long time. What do we got? The goods in the chat. What was that codec call again? 40? 40.40, 40. I think it was. 
let's see. Got Goods with the dancing dino and the poppy puppy face. I, I don't really know what emote that is. And you got level two. Level two easy. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what's with the level two. I still don't know what that means, but it is cool that you guys are leveling up in my chat. I'm glad to see it. Anyways, let's give a call to... Who was it again? I don't even remember. <clears throat> oh, Jacobson. Why does Foxhound use animals for codenames anyway? Oh, I think I can't remember this guy. Just a jackass. He doesn't even really tell you anything. Alright, so now... We need to... Um, pay attention to the text better, because I am bad at that. <laughs> I really should have. Uh, well, I think... From here, we go to the right. <clears throat> we go to the swamp. If I remember right, there's a swamp over here. Yep, there should be a kid over here playing by a swamp. Uh, big truck driving through here, you believe me, right? I totally skip. That's the one thing I don't like about this game. Close bottom of the swamp is too dangerous to get close, but... So big truck driving. So this one's... Yeah, I get it, kid. I think... You kind of have to do this trial and error bullshit unless you already know. Got another chat from Jacob with the dancing dinos. Love to see it. Welcome to the stream. Damn, bro. I don't remember it being this fucking difficult to figure it out. There's a path you can take. I mean, I could just look it up, but... Actually, no. I think I think I have to go to that one down here for it to work, if I remember right. Come on, man, where is it? Whoa, what's going on here? I don't remember it being this long. I mean, I guess it's not too tricky, it's just slightly annoying. What do you mean? I can't go any- oh my gosh, I have to go all the way over here? Just y'all wait once I get on the other side of this swamp. You see what the next boss is. Bro, am I fucking losing my mind or something? You know what? Fuck this. I'm not wasting time on this anymore. I'm done. Like, I'm supposed to remember the fucking path? Fuck you, dude. It's been like six, seven years since I played this game. Let's see. Swamp line with visual cues. Oh, there's visual cues. I thought there was. What does this guy got? Pointing out. What is he pointing out? Oh, okay. Yep, I went that way. Oh, he's just putting circles of where to go. Bro, slow down, man, slow down. Uh-oh. What the fuck? They're coming through here. Up anymore. Hmm. <clears throat> go down, go to the left. I, uh, 
I did that? Maybe I didn't go up. Oh, I did. Got another chat here. Is that on Twitch or YouTube? Uh, Keith Cook on YouTube. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Welcome to the stream, Keith. How are you doing? You ever played this game before? I don't think I need to even be here yet. honest with you now that I'm thinking about it. I don't remember having to go through all this crap. Oh man, there's multiple different ways to get in there. Okay, that's awesome. Trucks come in and out of here all the time. I love that I just wasted my whole fucking time doing that. Real nice. Nah, I wanna... You know what, fuck this. I'm just gonna die. <laughs> I don't wanna try to figure my way back. I wanna get to the one on the top right. I'm pretty sure that's where I need to go. Maybe I should probably call somebody, huh? See what the hell I'm supposed to do next. Got another chat here. Joff DBS on Twitch. Hey, bro. Welcome back to the stream, Joff. Nice to see you here. Yeah, the, the fucking the codec calls in here are kind of not helpful most of the time. Yeah, I have to find Marv. Where the fuck is Marv? I see all chat going off. Bro, what is going on with my chats? I see somebody just sent something. I think it was on YouTube, I, I want to say. I just missed it. Because the fucking all chat in here is terrible. Let me uh, take a peek on YouTube here. See if I can look at it. Okay. Keith on YouTube. I'm glad to hear that. I'm doing good too. I'm 34. I'm surprised that I've never played this game. I've played a lot of games in the franchise though. Yeah, it took me a while to play this game. I never had an MSX growing up. I, uh, I was all the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis all that shit, but never an MSX. I think that was more of a Japan thing anyways, but it did bundle this in with the Metal Gear Solid 3 collection on the PS3. That was the first time I got to try this game out. And uh, this is the Master Collection, so I'm just going through here again. Oh, it's right here! This is where I was trying to go. You playing Metal Gear 2, I see. Joff DBS on Twitch. Yes! This is Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Not to get confused with Metal Gear Solid 2. Not that I think anybody could confuse the two when looking for both of them, but... Um, if you ever played Metal Gear Solid 1, this should be kind of similar, or uh, familiar to you. Um, getting a random call from your number one fan. So, you can do a mind detector, and then just crawl, but I don't even think you need a mind detector. I might be wrong about that, though. But as long as you crawl on the ground, You'll be able to pick them up. Oh no, a mine detector. Okay, yeah, you can do it regardless. Mine detector just shows it on your radar on the right where all the mines are. I recommend just grabbing all of them because you're going to be coming back and forth through here. And you're going to see why in just a second.
But yeah, Keith, I would definitely recommend trying this game out. It is a pretty damn good game. I know a lot of people, uh... A lot of people I know have played 5. But they have not played many other games. This one would be definitely hard to get people to play. What is this? We've got Joff DBS on Twitch, so I think I'll miss more of the stream. I'd be later back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, take your time, man. Hope to see you back soon. And we've got G Dog, or is that a Q? Q Dog, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. Just chilling. Um, playing the classics. Uh, but yeah, so this next part, uh, you cannot. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Let me answer that call quick. They're just basically gonna tell you about the sand. It squeaks when you walk on it. So, these fuckers can hear your every move. Just like that. But you come in here and grab some more ammunition for yourself. Always remember that you can go back to that uh, garbage disposal area to get more rations if you need them. Um, I'm just gonna eat this ration right now. Grab that one back up. Going underneath the truck. Fuck this shit. Like, I'm gonna sit there for that long. <clears throat> ah, they just see you every time. It's honestly better if you just go underneath a truck. And go to the next loading zone. But anyways, we won't have to worry about them if you just get to the next loading zone. You're gonna worry about something else, though. <clears throat> As you can see on the radar, there's a big... Big white blip. A high D. So yeah, this heli will kick your shit in pretty fast. You're not meant to fight it yet. It's got this whole arena to shoot at you. I also think its bullets can go through this shit, so... Your best bet is to just get the fuck away from it. As you can see, I'm almost dead. You just go to the next area. Wait, no, can't go to the next area. All right, we will come back to this area later. If I can get out of here. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> As you can see, that's why you, you really want to get the fuck out of here ASAP. Um, but yeah. You, uh, you will come back to that helicopter later. Until then, um, kind of lost on where I was supposed to go. Oh yeah, gotta find Dr. Marv. We got two comments. Keith, my first game system was the Super Nintendo, and my first game was Tetris Attack. I haven't played the first game in this franchise either, but I played all of the games after this one. They're all pretty good. I think, uh, if you played the first Metal Gear Solid, he, it's pretty similar to this game. They took a lot of the stuff that they did in this game and put it into Metal Gear Solid 1. Uh, we got another chat, I think it was on Twitch. Or no, it was on YouTube with Adam. Where's the cutscenes? This must have been before Kojima started smoking crack. <laughs> I think it's... I don't know. I think he was... I was smoking a little something on this game, too. There's definitely a lot of crazy shit going on. Just a lot less... Uh, Polygonal, 3D, whatever the word would be. Alright, Dr. Marv, where is that cookie bastard at? Just check the chats here. Make sure everything's running nice and good. I might as well just look, look up a little walkthrough at the time. At this point, I mean... See where I gotta go next. This game is not very... Like I said, it's not very nice to you. You're not paying attention to the dialogue. Um, I do think we have to go back, though. So I'm gonna make my, make my way back.
think. Oh, maybe not yet. I don't want to get caught by that guy. I might as well. I can get some more rations from the garbage disposal. Oh yeah, go figure. Can't open that. Fuck you, I'm hiding. Just sit there for a second. If I look this up. <clears throat> wow, the mistranslations. It's pretty nuts. Keith on YouTube. I will play this game when I get the chance. It looks really cool. Yeah, it's bundled in, uh, I don't know... If you're trying to save some money, you can get it on the collection, the PS3 Metal Gear collection. It's on there. Uh, it's bundled in the Metal Gear Solid menu for Metal Gear Solid 3, I should say. <clears throat> and then on uh, the Master Collection, it's its own separate thing. Use card one to go through the northern door. Oh, I did have to go through the swamp. Motherfucker, dude. I was almost done with that shit, too. I really should get some more rations, but I'm not going to worry about it. If I could just get through two loading zones... Oh, maybe we'll be good here? Hopefully? No. chat on YouTube. This is a game that if you don't play through completely a few times, you need to walk through. That's true. I'm only kind of going... Like, I know this first part a lot because I've played through... I think I beat this game three times now. But it's... I'm pretty sure I used a guide my first time I played through it. Because it's... Just one of those games. They don't really tell you much of where to go or what to do. Am I going the wrong way again? No, I'm not. This is the way I have to go. Dog shit. I hate the swamp. Okay, there's actually a little... Okay, that's pretty neat. The little guide has a, has a path for me. All the way down here. That'll save me some time. So sort of this back and forth bullshit. Keith on YouTube. Oh, do I have the game on that PS3 collection and did realize that this is on there? Um, it depends on the collection you have. There was two collections. There was like a legacy collection for the PS3 and uh, what was the other one? Collector's Edition, I think. I mean, they might both have it, but I can't say for sure. I just remember that from what I remember, I think it's only on I went the wrong way. I think it's only on one of the collections. You'd have to check. It would be... If you do have it, it would be in your Metal Gear Solid 3 menu. In the extras. That's where they had it bundled on that. But, uh... Or you could just look it up too, I guess. If you don't uh, want to pull out your PS3. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, it's only for one of the collections. What am I doing here? I went the wrong way again. Nice. Where is this fucking path? There it is. Yeah. So I was right. I was right the first time. I just didn't realize that you could get to the top part from here. Damn it. <clears throat> Got another comment here. Let me hide underneath this deck while I read that. Um, so what you're saying is I should take the PS3 out of storage. I'd recommend it. Unless you have the Master Collection, which, uh, 
I don't think it's, I think it's still full price. I kind of think the Master Collection is a ripoff. It, I mean, it is good, it's nice, but they had all this shit on the store already for PS4, and then they took it all down, rebranded it, you know, renewed their licenses, and then they sold it at full price. Um, so unless you're a huge Metal Gear fan, you really want to play it on new gen consoles, it's not really worth it. Oh, fuck. I forgot to... Mm. Actually, no, I think I'm good. For this guy, you want to throw down mines. I remember that. And I'm pretty sure if you don't have the gas mask at this point, um, you're screwed. <laughs> to put it, put it bluntly. But, uh, yeah, we got the running man here. Good old, uh, scary running man. Uh, Adam, on YouTube, Master Collection should have had Twin Snakes. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I think it's kind of dumb they didn't have the Twin Snakes version in here, but I don't know, everybody's dick writing the original Metal Gear Solid 1 so hard. I, I mean, the Metal Gear Solid 1, the original one, wasn't bad, but the Twin Snakes, I just love that one more. It's just... Like, ooh, love the cutscenes. They're, they're, they're too overdramatic. Like, dude, the whole fucking series is overdramatic. What are you talking about? It's, it's meant to be a little goofy. The fucking series doesn't take itself seriously all the time. Favorite games is Borderlands 2. What's yours? Uh, that's a tough one. Why can't I move? Okay, first off, what you want to do here? Gas mask on. I'm actually going to eat a ration quick. Um, just to answer your question quick, um, my most favorite game, that's, that's kind of difficult. There's a lot of them. Metal Gear, definitely, there's quite a few Metal Gear games up there. Um, I guess, <laughs> now is not really the time for me to sit here and think, fuck, it didn't save. Oh, I'm cooked. Yeah, I'm done. I'm dead. Well, I can try to shoot him with a gun, but... Yeah, this is... It didn't save my mines that I collected. That was why I went back there to get him. Yeah, I don't think I'll catch this guy. Well, that's nice. Thanks, game. Really appreciate that. I'm just gonna fucking take the mask off and be done with this shit. Gotta go back and grab the mines from the, heli the helicopter area. I can not see live chat now, but, um, I would say my favorite game, probably, would be Resident Evil 4, for the fact that I can replay that game so many times and never get sick of it. Which, I know that might be kind of controversial, but, I mean, I can always go back. I played Metal Gear 4, or, I played Resident Evil 4 so many times, I beat it so many times, I never get sick of it. <clears throat> Nest version was crap, yeah, it was dog shit. I don't think this I can't remember if this one's this collection has the Nest version or not, but even the quote unquote better version. I mean it's okay, but I like this one a lot more. I don't think it's the Nest version, I think it's the better version they packed in this bundle. Q Dog, did you play the remastered version of Resident Evil 4? I did. I was I went in with very high expectations. I was expecting it to be terrible, but my expectations for it was high, and I was ready to be disappointed. And I was not. I was actually pleasantly surprised. That was a really good remake, which I am going to get around to stream slash play one of these days. Um, I'm going the wrong way. Um, but when I'm talking about Resident Evil 4, I'm talking more about the original. But the, the remastered Resident Evil 4 was really nice. I really liked it. Um, I don't really pre-order games. That was one that I pre-ordered. Um, just because that's how high... Like, I, I really thought it was going to be that good of a game. And it was. It was pretty good. I know it does have some flaws, and it did change up some things, but... Overall, I think it was a great way to get the modern audience to experience Resident Evil 4. Even though, in my opinion, Resident Evil 4 didn't really need a remaster, like, graphics were a little cruddy in comparison to these days, but it wasn't really that bad. Um, <clears throat> I'm 
on the topic of remakes, I am really excited for Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. That one looks really promising. I am a little worried about the Silent Hill 2 one, but hopefully that uh, ends up being a good one. Let's go back to, uh, fucking helipad. Not the helipad, uh, see if I got this memorized. Oops. Got another chat. Keith, YouTube. Awesome. Resident Evil 4 is my most favorite Resident Evil game and one of my most favorite games. I don't like it when they take out content and games. Agreed. I I don't think Remake took out much content. I think it actually added some scenes in there that was like... Like, I know um, in the... Uh, what the fucker? In the, uh, like, the castle area, they added this huge, like, Ganado... Not Ganado. What, what the hell is it? The giant... El Gigante, or El Gigante, whatever. A giant motherfucking troll thing. There was a whole scene where you're like running from it. That was pretty cool, actually. Um, but I agree, I don't like when they take out content in games. Man, where. Alright, I'm, I'm just going back to the fucking picture. Uh, we got another chat here. Let me just check that. I mean, there are a lot of good titles coming out this year, but my favorite, my most favorite would be the Fable release. There's a Fable coming out this year? Which one? Is it the first one? That's news to me, man. I didn't even, I, I honestly, like, Fable was a great franchise, but my favorite one was uh, the first one. Um, I played a little bit of the others, but, uh... I don't know. Maybe it's just because it was my first, but... Fable 1 just... I don't know. I just loved it. I played the other Fables, and they're they're not bad, but... They're not really... I don't know. I wasn't in, as interested and in, invested in the game like I was with the Fable, Fable 1. Especially Fable The Lost Chapters, when they added all that extra shit in there. Um, get the fuck out of here, kid. Why... Like, <laughs> I know there is actually a reason why there's kids here. Let's explain in Metal Gear 5 as well, but... There we go. I go over here, go up here, over here. All back in the swamp. New Fable game coming out? Question mark. No, it's been remade from the ground up by a whole new studio. Also, it's like a, it's like a reboot. Almost, huh? Because wasn't it originally Lionhead Studios? They were the ones working on it? I think that's what it was. I would love to see Fable make a comeback. That was such a great game. I really like that. But, uh, every time I look it up nowadays, it's like... I mean, I guess I haven't looked up much Fable news, but I remember the last time I was looking it up, they were trying to make, like, a fucking card game out of Fable or some shit. I was like, dude, this is not... That, that's not Fable, man. <laughs> I don't know. But that that sounds really, really cool. I'll have to take a look at that. Alright. I'm gonna eat a ration. Put on the gas mask, pull out your mines, um... Don't fucking walk over him like I just did. You know, lay him down in kind of like this pattern, you can see that he, he'll he keep running away from you, so... Just keep running after him and throwing down mines as you go. Oh, he just ran through my fucking mines, man. Nice. That's okay, we got plenty. I should be putting more down. The goal here is to kill him before... Jeez, I walked over my own mine. Nice. 
Well, hopefully I don't do that again. Yeah, I'm dead. Ooh, I'm so dead. Damn, I suck at this. Um, got a couple chats here. No, it's been remade. Okay, I read that. Lionhead has been disbanded after the horrible release of Fable Journey for the Kinect. I think that's what it was. It was some trash shit like that. I'm all the way back here again, man? Fuck. This game is unforgiving. And that boss isn't even really that hard. I'm just not putting the mines in the right place. Um, w Gamer from the Goods on Twitch. Appreciate it. I just took a major L though, but that's all right. We will uh, we'll run it back again. Hopefully, it won't end up like the last Saints Row game that came out. Yeah, I, I'm not too big into Saints Row, but I heard that the last one wasn't that great. That's pretty awesome though. Like, Fable's coming back. That that would be pretty cool if they could if they could pull it off. Bring that game franchise back from the dead. That would be awesome. I think it's kind of a competitive market now, though, because... You know, you got so many, like... What is that classified as? Like an, uh... Like an RPG or something? I don't know. As long as they keep, like, the cool shit in there that made Fable Fable from the originals, I'll love it. What is the studio? I'll have to look that up here in just a second, but I'm kind of interested to see what the studio... which one is working on it. Damn it. also my favorite Fable song. Not sure if you meant game or song there, but the music in that is very good as well. Oh, you meant game. Yeah, I figured. that That is my favorite uh, Fable game as well. It's just... Boom. Damn, I took a hit. Dumb. Couldn't have done that. Waited. It's pretty good. I love Fable 1. I played that one quite a bit as well. A lot of title has been released from Xbox Studio, like Metroid, Fable, and Black Ops 6 being their number one spot, but Nintendo came out with a new title called Mario & Luigi Brotherhood. I think, I've, I think I've heard a little bit about that Mario & Luigi thing. Isn't that kind of like similar to the, uh, the original um, Mario & Luigi on the DS? I think maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of something else. But... I'm also kind of excited for Black Ops 6, but Call of Duty is just kind of an eh for me as of late. But if they stick to their guns and they live up to the hype and all the stuff that they're talking about, I think Black Ops 6 will be pretty nice. It, it's given me this vibe of like Black Ops 1, which Black Ops 1 is really good. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, World at War, Modern Warfare 1 and 2, the originals. 3 was okay, but, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Cold War wasn't too bad either. It was, it was a step in the right direction. Probably start crawling here in case I... Yep, I would have blown myself up. There we go, see? Check that out. That's how fast it should be when you're doing it right. I'm just excited for Gobblegum again. It's been too long. Oh yeah, did they not they didn't have Gobblegum in Black Ops 5, which would have been Cold War if I remember right. At first I didn't like Gobblegum, but I think it's kind of cool. And really, if you don't like it, you don't have to use it, so. Got Twitch 2D crawling. Every day, man. Every day. We're in this 8-bit universe. Or is this 16-bit? 
No, this is not 60. My favorite Call of Duty game is Call of Duty 2, the big red one. That was a good one too. I remember that. That is that the one where you start off in like a field, you're running through the town, and then you see a what is it, a tiger tank? And you're hiding in the buildings that are all falling apart. I loved the start of that game. That was like my first Call of Duty game that I got into. Let's grab our minds back, huh? Stinger missile. They took some to the factory on the west side of Zanzibar building's first floor the other day. Okay, so this is what you need to beat the heli, so that would be... Let me check the chat here quick. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, that was a good one. I really like that Call of Duty. Um, so, took some to the... Let's see, where am I at here? West side... Zanzibar building, first floor. That would be all the way on the left. I think there was a locked door over there. You got to say. I hate people who use guns. The new fables being made by Playground Studio, developed with Xbox Studio. I mean, I don't really like to do this during streams, but I just want to take a peek at this. I don't know, do they have any like footage or anything like that? Playground Studio. Fable 4. Oh, that was three years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I did see this, actually. I thought it was fake, and I just brushed it off. Oh, yeah, that looks good. One month ago, this little trailer came out. Damn, that looks really good. Oh, they got the, the giant rock monsters. That's cool. I hope they just keep the same tone. You know what I mean? I hope they don't take it too serious, because I think that was what made Fable um, so good, was that it took itself somewhat seriously, but, you know, it, it was always kind of humorous. There was just jokey humor. Like, what's the word? It was like, you know, kind of similar to a game called Bard's Tale. I think about that one was kind of in the similar like sense of humor. It was light, lighthearted for the most part. What the fuck opens this door, man? I hate going through this swamp. Got Jacob with dancing dinos on Twitch. Um, Oh my god, this swamp fucking sucks. I mean, it's not that bad, it's just annoying. Like, I wish... Maybe there is, but I wish there was an item that would just show you the path. Like, I don't know. Thankfully, we will not have to go back here again for a while. So, west side of Zanzibar Island. On the first floor is where the stinger vessels are. This 
Let's do a data save. I think I've got some already on here. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> Just to be safe. In case anything crazy happens. Oh shit. Hide under here. Got another chat. I got to go. I didn't realize how late it is here and I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I will stay for the whole next stream. Good night and I had fun. Sounds good, man. Hope your appointment goes well. Uh, catch you on the next stream. Not a problem at all. It is kind of getting a little bit later. But normally, I would be at work right now, but we got done early. Normally, I'm at work till like 2 a.m. Wow, there's too many of them. Too many of them popping up right now. Damn, fuck off. Come on over here. Go over here, and I'll go underneath the tank. Sneaky gamer moves. q Dog, same here with the work. I'm usually up this late. I personally don't like staying up past midnight, but that's... Especially when I'm working, it's just like, I don't know. I just hate staying up past midnight. It's like, obviously, like, mentally wise, it just feels kind of weird. You feel a little off, but health wise, it's terrible for you, especially like if you're staying up really late at night. But usually, I'll, like, the most I'll push it to it. Oh, there's a guy over there. I do not want to do that. There's a guy right here, too. Don't turn around, buddy. There we go. But yeah, I, uh,. I normally don't like being up too late, and if I'm up like at 1 in the morning or 2 in the morning, I just want to be relaxing, I don't want to be doing anything, you know? I know how you feel, I've been doing this for 10 years. I haven't been doing it that long, but I would definitely start to lose my shit if I was doing it for 10 years. Um, I've been kind of on and off, that's... It all depends on the different jobs that I have. Some of them, you know, I've had some decent ones, it's like 10... 10 a.m. to like 8 p.m. or something like that. That's not too bad. Um, I don't really like getting up too early though. I know a lot of places do like having their first shift start at like fucking 4 in the morning. Oh, this is not where I want to be. You can't sneak in through the front door. Dude. Oh, it's repeating the... <laughs> Reading the codec call I should have answered when I first started the game. Come here, you fucker. Oh my god, come on. Right, I'll take your buddy out first. What do you think about that? You turn around. Alright, west side. Oh, first floor. We're on the first floor, right? Trust me, I know how you feel, but the grind will be worth it. That's true. Once you start getting those paychecks, you kind of stop giving a fuck about any complaints you had. Is that not the door I came through? I don't think it is. No, I came through the other door. This guy needs to look away. I should get the cardboard box, too. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing over here, man? No, this was the door. Damn it. I'm lost. Lost again. Fuck you. Three. There we go. There we go. Picked up a red card. That door opens with this card. Oh, red card. Yeah, that does. Okay. That's nice. Forgot about that. Do I want to go in here yet? Mm, yeah, I think I do. Brings me to that. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I guess we'll go down. I kind of want to grab some rations, anyways.
Oh, I have no rations. I definitely need to sit here for a bit and grab some. There we go. Nice. I'm getting some pretty good RNG right now. Hopefully that keeps up. Nope. Does it say a Konami pendant? go. Look at that. Three rations. I don't think I can carry anymore, but we'll see. Q-Dog on YouTube. Not like that rupee luck earlier today. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I almost fell down. I was looking at the chats. Yeah, no kidding, man. That randomizer is kicking my ass. It was like... <sighs> fucking everything was... Now I go through some crazy ass little quest to get something nice, and then it's like, oh, here's a, here's a fucking red rupee. <clears throat> Maybe it's just the time the RNG gods are on my side right now. Kind of. If I can get. Just a couple more rations. Can't carry any more. Damn. I thought I picked up four. Whatever. It's fine. We can do three rations. I'm good with that. I can make that work. Mm, so we're in the basement, but I do want to see where this leads. Nope, can't open that yet. Alright. First floor of Zanzibar. I think we're in Zanzibar. I don't know. It's not like I have a map. I'm pretty sure this is Zanzibar. Oh, yeah, it is. Why am I even asking that question? It's not like I'm in outer heaven. It's fucking first game. What was that noise? Whose footprints are these? Oh, a suppressor? Let's go. Very nice. Do I equip that again? I equip that. Or is it automatically equipped? Oh, it is. Okay. Very nice. Well, would this not be the west side, dude? Is this not west? West on the first floor, maybe? Is there another door, maybe? I don't know. Ammo? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll keep looking. Fuck! I was trying to move. Son of a bitch. I was trying to just turn myself, not like take a step, but whatever. Oh, I thought I could get away with it. here. Or a room up here. Can I, can't carry anymore. Okay. Binoculars. Still no stingers, though. Oh, you son of a bitch. Come on. He didn't even see me. He, he didn't hear me. He saw me. Fucking suppressor. Not putting in that work. I mean, it, it did, but the bullet just takes forever. Oh, I'm on 2F, that's why. I gotta be on the first floor. Which, that... 
elevator is broken. Come on, man. Can't open them. Close! I don't want to be on this fucker. There we go. Gotta be on this one. It's the one on the right will not go to the first floor. And they're everywhere. Alright, wet side. Damn, bro, they're just spotting my ass like instantly. Oh, is it over here? Yeah. Um, let these guys like talk to each other or something. Maybe not. What is the point of this room? Just to throw me off? I, I do see something on the west over here. Is there a door? How do you get over there? Back to the guide. That's the running man. I just gotta backtrack. Yeah, of course you'd see me. So I know what the room looks like. Oh, yeah, right there. Did I fucking walk past that like a hundred times, dude? How did I not see that? Yeah, here we are. Away, man. Shit, the other one's coming. Oh, maybe he's not, he's just sitting there. Joff DBS on Twitch, I am back. Welcome back to the stream, Joff. I don't know what that was. I'm pretty sure those were stingers. Yeah, okay. I just I thought the box was in here, too. Maybe it's not, though. Well, anyways. We can take on the stinger. <clears throat> take on the stinger. We can take on the heli with the stingers. Oh, 
now the camera wants to move. Interesting. Let's get out of here. Do a data save. Let's take on the heli. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the binoculars is beneficial in this fight. What do they do again? Well, I see one screen up, down, left, right, of the present of your present. Oh, that's all it does. I thought it was good for this fight, though. Maybe not. I don't know. That seems like a lot of back and forth bullshit. Especially when it's like flying around. As you saw earlier, that shit, uh, that shit will kill you very quickly. I just gotta remember the path to get there. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Yep. Hey, you put the mines back down. That's okay with me, though. I'll grab them up. Damn, I... What the fuck, man? I went to... Uh, that's, that's nice. I think I got three rations. I don't think these keep respawning after you take this thing out, but I could be wrong. Either way, might as well just grab the free mines laying around. Well, you can. There's a guy up there. Is he looking this way, though? He's not. Shit. Oh, my bullet didn't kill him. Why are they telling me this all again? There we go, one down. More ammo. I'm just gonna save one more time. Time to try fighting this thing. Move crosshairs using their stick. Press square to fire. Oh, okay, so... I'm pretty sure this... Yeah, okay. This will be interesting. Can I do it in the first try? Guess we'll see. You basically just want to stay away from the screen that it's on and wait for it to get to the screen where your crosshair is. Oh, that missed. Son of a bitch. Oh, that one missed too? I've only got one left. That's all we needed. A hind D from Jaff DPS side. Oh, that's what I was saying. A hind D. What the hell's a... Hell's a Russian gunship doing out here? <laughs> yeah, with that, the high and D is down. I think we can continue.
I'm gonna save. I should be doing this more often, just in case for any crashes or anything like that. Never run into that, but would not want it to happen again. Yeah, of course, that'd be too easy. Oh, this is where the cardboard box comes in, right? Good with a cardboard box, right? Why not try posing as part of the cargo? Changing the frequency for future communications. Yeah, this is the shit I'm talking about. The new frequency can be found in a photo in the software manual. Like, nice, man. I'm pretty sure this digital thing does have something in it, though. Is it screen? No. Now they put it in, like, another thing. It's really dumb. Would have been better suited, like, in the actual menu of this. Oh, you motherfucker, I punched your ass. Anyways, um... Yeah, there's a lot of that in this game, so I will probably just be looking it up on my phone, because I am not going in and out of two separate applications on my PS5. Read a damn manual. Anyways, you got the cardboard box. You already know. Put that shit out. This also helps with security cameras. I gotta say, man, the music in this game is just amazing. I love it. So good. So, Holly's a prisoner. chat on YouTube, Q-Dog. Music is pretty good, not gonna lie. I know, man. It's it's banger. I love chiptune music, but there there is... You, know, you got some chiptunes that are very basic, and then you got shit like this. It's so good. I love, like, even though I haven't played this game in years, I love looking up the music for it. I love looking up covers people make of it. It's so good. I think music can really make or break these older games. And this one is very good. It's like the icing on, on the cake. Can't carry anymore. Well, that's probably a ration in there. Oh, you are. Got it. <laughs> nice game. Joff DBS, I can hear the music pretty good, but you are pretty silent. Oh, do I need to adjust the game audio here? I'll turn it down just a little bit. Let me see what I have that. Yeah, I got it. Turn it down to... about that right there. It is partially the fact that, like, right now, my microphone is it's on the tabletop. I don't have like a boom mic stand yet. Um, a lot of people have the mic like right down their throat. I can't do that yet. But when I do, I'll have to change up the audio yet again. Because uh, it'll be really, really loud once that happens. But hopefully you can hear me better. Actually, before I leave this area, let me check, make sure I don't have anything I need to grab. Let me know if that, uh, this audio is better. I just kind of turned on the game audio just a tad bit. Oh, there's a guy coming. 
go through here. Boom mic down the throat sounds pleasant. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Like, you see those guys where they have their face cams in there and their mic is like r literally pressed up against their, like, it's like next to their nose. Like, I understand why, but you want that clear audio. But I can't do that right now. I mean, fuck, my pop filter is still a sock. I have a sock over my mic. Like, <laughs> my audio. Uh, setup is not not the best. It's not the worst, but it definitely could be better. I'm pretty sure you can blow the, one of these walls up, but I might be wrong. It might be a different area. Well, there's nothing in here to do right now. Can I keep going up? No, okay. Go back down. Oh, stop moving, man. Oh. There's nothing. See nothing. Oh, man, this game really loves just. Fucking right when I think I did something right. Stand up, please? No? Okay, nice. I'm just gonna hide in here. Let's try this elevator. Level 20. When you shoot the question mark in MGS3, they get unconscious for a few seconds. Oh yeah, that was such a cool thing when I found that out. I I think I accidentally found that out. Um, which is crazy to me. Like, so you know, I was really going on and on about how much I really enjoy Metal Gear Solid 3. There was somebody that commented on one of the lives or the videos, I don't know which one it was, but I left a comment saying, Yeah, I'm back this. I should probably pause the game when I look at chat. Anyways, um, this guy or girl, I don't know, <clears throat> left a comment on one of the one of the videos and they said I hate this garbage game or something like that I'm like what it's crazy and like first off why would you want to watch me do a playthrough of a game you hate and second off like what are you trolling but uh, 
they said they didn't like how much cutscenes there were in Metal Gear Solid 3. And they didn't like the micromanaging in the menu system. I'm like, well, it's really not that bad. And the cutscenes, I mean, every Metal Gear game has got a long... Like, they all have a lot of cutscenes. I mean, fuck's sake, Metal Gear Solid 4 had like an hour and a half long cutscene. Um, can I go under this? What the hell is this? Oh. Weird. There's definitely quite a bit going on over here. Maybe so they could get their 15 seconds of fame? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know how that camera didn't see me, by the way. That was nuts. Just a normal box. You son of a bitch, fuck you. Gonna shoot at my box? What's wrong with you, man? You psychopath. Who shoots at boxes. <clears throat> no, it was it was really crazy though. I'm like, wow dude. Like I've never heard somebody have such like strong opinions about Metal Gear Solid 3. Like, what? Like, even if I even if that wasn't my personal favorite, like, I objectively could say Metal Gear Solid 3 is, like, out of the entire series, if we look at it overall, objectively is the best Metal Gear Solid game. Now, if you're factoring in things, specific things like gameplay, um, it really boils down to, like, are you talking gameplay mechanics or are you talking how the game plays? Because if you're talking gameplay mechanics, that still goes to Metal Gear Solid 3. But gameplay, you would have to give the Metal Gear Solid 5. I mean, that that was just the smoothest Metal Gear gameplay has ever been. But there's a lot of flaws with that game as well. Still a great game, but... Twitch, I think? Like, half of MGS4 is a cutscene. I know, and I was like, what are you talking about? Uh... Okay, I can't go through there. Yeah, I'm like, if you're... Like, Kojima even said, like, you can tell, but he did say that in an interview, how he wanted to be a movie director, he didn't want to be a video game creator. You can really tell, when you play these games, like, <clears throat> the dude wasn't kidding, like, he really did want to make a fucking, like, every one of these games is like a movie. And, like, if you don't like Metal Gear because of the cutscenes, then... You're not gonna like any Metal Gear, really. Like, they all have cutscenes. A lot of them. One-Eyed Man is like our daddy, he doesn't like grown-ups. Hmm. Well, why don't you take a seat over there? Big boss, why do you got all these kids? Fuck off. Damn, leave me alone. There we go. Too easy. Come through the door again. Come on. Boom, you're done. Might as well eat one of the rations I have. <clears throat> I cannot go through there yet. Okay. Man, is this the area where I gotta blow up walls and shit? I don't think so. Just a box. I'm suspicious about it. Um, did I go through this elevator? Yeah, that's what I took to get here, I think. Um, can go through here. Yeah, I went through there. Twitch, okay, love the cutscenes in MGS3. Dude, didn't I just fucking kill this guy? I didn't think they respawned like that. Whatever. I'm out of here. And enough time wasted in this area. Yeah, I don't know. I love the cutscenes in Metal Gear Solid 3. When I was doing that stream, obviously I was trying to like speed up the pace and I was skipping a lot of them, but really, I like 
When I play Metal Gear, I'm not usually skipping everything. And the, and the cutscenes aren't bad. I mean, they're really good. I don't think Metal Gear would be the franchise that it is today if, if all it was was just boring cutscenes. Like, they're not boring. They're interesting. They've got a lot of lore tying behind them. And, I don't know. <sighs> Can't please everybody, I guess, but... I mean, there's a reason why the series has been growing and been alive for so long. So, like, if they were doing something wrong, they would have, you know, would have fallen off a long time ago. Shit, did I ever try to go down on that other elevator? Ah, whatever. Pretty sure this is the right way. Cow, man. There we go. Ah, shit. A boss fight? The Red Blaster. Can't wait to deal with that. What does this guy do again? Grenades, you'll see it. That grenades. Hmm. Is this the guy you need grenades for? Oh, I think it is. I'll try saving here, but I'm gonna save on a new file just in case it's a. Got a chat from Q Dog on YouTube. If they did something wrong in MGS, they would have fallen harder than Fable Journey. See, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, Metal Gear, like, they knew what they were doing up until, like, Metal Gear survived, but that really was, that was a whole other can of worms. And that, you know, that was more uh, Konami taking the reins and failing really hard. But that really can't be. Uh, well, I'm gonna break these, and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna fight this guy. I'm pretty sure you need grenades to beat this guy, and I didn't get grenades. I thought I checked everywhere, though. I, I ran into that one. Ah, uh, horse shit. Can't fucking hit him, man. See what happens when I load this. Wow. I was really about to, uh... <laughs> I am so glad I did not save over my original save, dude. I would have been s Well, maybe not soft-locked, but... Let's see what happens. I'm interested to see what happens if I die here. If it'll just put me back in this room. Because that would have been soft lock territory right there. Anyways, I will spend my <clears throat> spend my time reading the chat. Joff DBS, what do you mean? Metal Gear Survive is just a dream? A bad? <laughs> yeah, that is a bad dream. Fucking nightmare. I mean, it was an interesting game, I guess, if you took the Metal Gear title off of it, but... Q-Dog on YouTube. If that was a dream, then Kingdom Hearts 3 is a triple A title. <laughs> Dude, that is nuts. Look at this, man. You spawn in when you die. In the boss room. That's fucking crazy. Can you leave? Hold on. Can you leave? Let me see. If you couldn't, that that is crazy. Oh, you can leave. Okay. Okay, that's cool. I was gonna say, man, you're like fucking softlocked then. Thankfully, I saved on that second save, just in case, but... Alright, where are the grenades? I missed those. I 
Going up pathways. What are you talking about? So I was blo I knew it. That is the area you blew up shit in. Where do you get C4? <clears throat> Plastic explosive. Where the fuck do you get that? Oh, I think I know. I think I know. Yeah, where, uh... Let me guess. Let me look at this guide quick here. I'm assuming I have to go back to Zanzibar, like, main area. Where the fuck is the plastic explosives and grenades in this game, dude? You're two. What is snake? Plastic explosives. Asian. I hate this shit, man. I don't want to find stuff for Metal Gear 2 or Metal Gear Solid 2. I want to find shit for Metal Gear 2. Oh, this looks different. Oh, this is the other version of Metal Gear 2. What we got here? Oh! Thank you for the follow, Q Dog. I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in on Twitch. We are one step closer to our goal. Well, um, it's probably in the fucking basement. What? There's a basement? I knew there was a basement, man. Damn it. It's in one of these elevators. Yeah, man, I appreciate the follow. I hope you enjoy the content that I produce. Whoa. I did not realize my desktop was... Uh, not turned off for sound. <laughs> so that's probably gonna be a bit echoey. I still don't know what that sound is. I think it, it, I've heard it a couple times. I think it's when people follow. It does this little jingle to like say like, hey, we're one step closer to the goal. I'm not really sure. Get me in this elevator. Fuck off. I didn't mean to do it. Oh, fuck. What is this shit? Herbert the Pervert Basement? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Joff DBS, Sake Eater. Oh, you're trying to do the command? <laughs> Let's see if it works. Turn my desktop down a little bit. I did go back and try to turn up the volume on those a little bit, so hopefully they're a little louder now. I still think they won't be as loud as the game audio though. But we will find out. Now what is going on in here? When I'm in to- whoa, whoa. <clears throat> We saw a green man wearing clothes. Eh. Whatever. Um, but yeah, for those of you that are tuning in on Twitch, this doesn't work on YouTube yet, but I do have commands on Twitch that uh, have little goofy animations. Just that shit. Um. Okay, so we'll definitely need plastic explosives right there. Mm hmm. Where the fuck do you get those? Let me try calling my help. Have you 
you found Marv yet? I don't know how long you can hold out. You have to hurry over and out. You are not telling me shit. Changing the frequency for our future communicate. Urgh, more searching. Fucking stupid. I don't have the game because it's uh, not the 1990s anymore. Sometimes he changed it is to 66. Okay. Let's see if he has any valuable information to give us. Yeah, nice. sure how I got past this part. I do holes B1, go down, base pure, mines in the water, strong current. Um can I go back up here? Oh I can, okay. Yeah. Why didn't I try that to start? Probably over here, huh? I think these are plastic explosives, but they look like boards with nails in them. Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Save over that. And let's, uh... Let's go check out what's behind this wall over here. Oh, wrong one. blow it up myself. Joff on Twitch. What are kids doing in a military base in Africa? Yeah, see, that's the thing. You don't get an explanation for that. It's just random as fuck. Like, what the hell? But, uh... It's actually a plot... What, wait, what the fuck? I didn't think you'd be this pretty. Snake's always hitting on him. Um, Metal Gear Solid 5 actually explains it a little bit. Um, it's supposed to be... If you played Metal Gear Solid 5, you know that he's, uh... Big Boss is using child soldiers, child slaves, whatever. And this is kind of like... A stretch, but it's how they basically filled... The logic of kids being on the base was the fact that um, they're child soldiers. But I don't think they really had that in mind when they made the game. They just had random kids walking around. It didn't make sense. And then in Metal Gear Solid 5, for whatever reason, they're like, let's fix some of the logic that was in Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, even though, you know, not a lot of people have played this game. So it was very, it was like a small amount of people who would have even noticed this. Q-Dog, <laughs> that's a sweatshop? Yeah, pretty much. In a way. Sweatshop for war. Forty seventy six. It's so cheesy sometimes. <laughs> what, what should I say, Snake? <laughs> Alright, um, now we got a new card. Nice. 
That will open up... What will that open up, actually? I'm not sure. There's a ration just sitting over here. I could grab that, but... I feel like it might be a trap. I'm pretty sure this area has, like, current that kind of fucks you over. Just a tad bit. Okay, well, I have the card, so what do I do with that? Still has not given me grenades. Let me look on this guide quick. Chasing a bird? Oh man, I forgot all about that. Yeah, there's a fucking thing where you need to chase a bird in this game. Well, I'm gonna go back up here and try to find a door that I haven't opened yet. Maybe. Mm -hmm, go through there, yep. Okay, there. So it is that area. We are going to go back up. Wow. There's a lot of backtracking here, but we need to go back to the other elevator. Blast through the walls to get to the grenades. Kill that new boss, and then I think that will get us to the best quest in this game, which is chasing a bird. I saw him a second too late. <clears throat> He saw me. That's okay. That's all right. We're just gonna go over here. And I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna sit right here and I'm gonna shoot you. Is that it? Nobody else coming? I guess not. What was it over here? I don't have to worry about that right now. We had to go up. this kid. Oh my god! You actually can! I forgot! I just killed a child! <laughs> boss, you killed a child! Amazing work, boss. That right there is why you're the best. South of here, I found a bunch of things that look like green pineapples. Okay, cool. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Also, uh, I see the, the Twitch commands are back in style. The snake eater. can't punch when I have this? Okay, that's dumb. Got dancing dinos from Jacob and Joff and a yo. Oh, for the killing the kids? <laughs> yeah, clip it, chat. Clip it right here, right there. You saw Solid Snake blow up children. Actually, I think you get to shoot the little fuckers. South of here, I found... Let's try it. Oh, I did not notice it uh, damages you for that. Let's not do that again. <clears throat> that is crazy, though. Somebody actually programmed that in. It was a different time back in, back in the 90s. Can't carry anymore, dude. What? 
You just ate some. Damn it, I should have ate that one instead of the one that I ate. I picked up another one. Nice. Can't carry anymore. Ooh, wow, 30? It'd be good to go. Alright. Let's uh, fight this boss. Crazy is how you take out the Metal Gear in this game, is with grenades. Instead of like rockets or anything, if I remember right at least, I think it was grenades. Oh you bastard. You're running so fast, but when it comes to the loading zone you gotta stop for a second, huh? Nice. Was he up? I think he was up. Let's do a quick shave. A little shave a Oop, my bad. I probably just blew up your guys' ears. My phone launched itself at the mic. Um, what the hell? Was it not here? It was... Or maybe I had to go to the- no, no, I had to go to the last elevator in that giant spiral room. <sighs> Got a message on Twitch here, Joff, gonna go now, see you next stream. No problem, man. It was nice seeing you stop in. Hope to see you on the next one. I will catch you around. Let's uh, finish this boss fight. Now this one is up, right? Pretty sure. Wow, man. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh, he didn't even give me a chance this time. There 
we go. Easy peasy. And with that, we got some more life. Whoa, fuck, I forgot about that. Almost fell down. Okay, this is kind of a familiar part for people who've played Metal Gear Solid. Um, a giant staircase. Which we will do in the next stream. I am going to call it here, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I've appreciated the follows and everything you guys have done for support. Um, I'm going to commence a raid at this time. So if anybody's still watching on YouTube, come on over to the Twitch. Um, for those of you on Twitch, I urge you to stick around and I encourage all of you to interact with the streamer that I choose to raid. I'd appreciate it and they would appreciate it as well. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys on the next one.